It's the art of a concept that makes me think of its science, think of how it came to be and exist in my presence. Take, for instance, a word like kink or like sex. Make it kinky or sexy by adding Y to the end. Y as in the letter, but I also deviate to ask. The Y being the question which has layers to get past. When I think of kink or sex, sometimes I physically react. It's often in the positive, and that's just me thinking fast. Switch it up with words like stink, stench, sink, or next. Notice how these also rhyme with words like kink and sex. Stink and stench are words giving me negative thoughts right away. My physical response reads of disgust and dismay. Sink or next, just more rhymes, in this case, the exception. My body's response re represents my perception. I don't respond negatively, more neutral if at all. Could care less about these words <clears throat> like the writings on the wall. My connection to each term goes beyond dictionary definitions. Confusing like Spotify's version of poison by new edition. Is science the meaning? Is it the nature argument? Could art be the beginning, the nurture side of it? Why does the word kinky make me blush while the word stinky makes me itch? How can one language be more universal when all language is a derivative? These are my questions that need answers, QTNA, if you will. I've broken down my processes, safe words for cheap thrills. Can't think of the truths without thinking of the lying. Can't think of the lives without thinking of the dying. Can't think of the actions without thinking of the trying. Can't get to the words without the defining. It's not how it's made, it's the it itself. The meaning, the being, the books off the shelf. I'm learning and designing me, all this I'm applying. It's the art of the concept that makes me think of the science.